Good morning from uh, Target Marathon. That's Target. <laughs> We're uh, close to a place called Marathon, which is over by Martha. Marfa, not Martha. And uh, today we're gonna head down to Big Ben. Forgot to mention, last night, <laughs> we were parked here about 9 p.m. Uh, we stayed here overnight, and uh, this really nice uh, local sheriff guy came up, just pulled over and was just like, hey, what are y'all doing? And I was like, hey man, just editing videos. <laughs> Long story short, he asked if we were going to stay here overnight, and I said yes, unless he suggested some other place, and he said, well, go for it. So, thanks, dude. Um, that was the first time anyone's ever questioned me about staying somewhere overnight on uh, the side of the road, like this, and uh, got a report back. It was rather painless. I got nothing to hide. I got nothing illegal in the bus. But really, there's no reason that I couldn't be here, so, yeah. They're gonna be on the right. Uh, just spotted this animal called a javelina, which looks like a pig, and, uh, yeah. So, I don't, Claire, have you ever seen a javelina before? Uh, in a zoo. <laughs> okay, yeah. perfect. So we're gonna try and get a, uh, a shot of these little, little piggies. I think they're actually related to rodents, I was told, so, yeah, pretty interesting. An apple? Uh, sure. I don't know. They're kind of far, though. Those uh, apples are pretty tasty, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, uh, give him an apple? yeah, give give him a good throw. Clear, clear. By the way, is a uh, baseball player, softball player. So watch, watch, watch her arm. Damn. All right. This is something that we were uh, thinking about seeing last night, uh, but it got kind of dark. Uh, if you saw yesterday's uh, video because of the drone, this is called the uh, chicken house <laughs> and there's chickens on top. Um, this is just a little uh, building on the, really just the other side of the railroad tracks. Um, just to point out, this is the entire city or town. There's a hotel over there with a white buffalo head. This is the, <laughs> the main drag on the other side of the railroad tracks, really close. Um, and is just right on the side of the road here. Um, and I, this is another find from uh, the Roadside America app here. And um, was this one in Atlas Obscura also? Uh, maybe, I don't maybe? remember. Anyways, there's a, those are my sites for uh, finding interesting things. But um, clearly somebody had a little fun with this one. There's all kinds of like... Oh, little... no, this has says haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> um, Anyways, trigger warning, you're misspelled in West Texas. Um, but yeah, it looks like some chickens. I don't know, interesting little thing. And of course, looks like a little butcher up top. Um, but yeah, this is, this is kind of cool. I don't think I would ever want to live in West Texas. No. But I feel like if you had some creativity, if you were an artist or just an eccentric person, you could... This is the kind of place, just like a Joshua Tree or somewhere far away from a big city, you could come, buy a piece of cheap land, and do some weird, wacky stuff, and have a real, your own roadside attraction. We also we just turned around because uh, Claire, I think she saw a giant deer, which I believe she did. <laughs> so we're going to try and spot this little sucker somewhere. Oh, right there, there he is. Yeah. See, I saw his butt. Yeah, look at that. Is that called a white tail because it's got a white butt? Yeah. Look at that pretty little deer right there. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's huge. It is. Oh. Oh, it was the bush. Up. There we go, right there. Look at all those. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, he's so cute. He's probably going to let off. Well, that's a nice looking deer right there. I swear the deer are bigger out here than where I live. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe because there's less hunters. Probably. That's kind of how it works. Wow, beautiful, beautiful deer. There you go. Oh, see you, buddy.
Guys, I'm legal for one more year. Also, we got Nick with the black pearls back. What's up? What's up, Nick? Good to see you, man. Likewise. Uh, if you guys remember when I was out by uh, Yellowstone, Jellystone, uh, me and Jamie met Nick um, randomly, kind of camped out there. So we just met up today here at the visitor center where there's absolutely no service whatsoever. Um, and it looks like I'm gonna jump on his overnight pass so the street continues a year and a half and I've never paid for an overnight place to park day of the adventure bus. Also, one of my favorite things to do when I go into a uh, visitor center is to get postcards. Uh, one of the reasons because they're incredibly cheap and they're a great little souvenir. 40 cents a pop. So. Um, I will be picking five people who comment in the video uh, to win the postcards and then I'll send them to you. Look at that, we got a little petrified wood. By the way, we stopped over here at the uh, fossil discovery exhibit. Um, I think we're going to head up there afterwards and check out the view. I don't know, possibly other fossils. I don't know, fossils are cool. Claire's an archeologist, so everybody's happy. That looks like a massive, massive alligator. Wouldn't want to be, uh, <laughs> wouldn't want to bump into one of these. In the prehistoric swamp out here, big man. <laughs> My god. But look at how big this guy is here. Man, look at that. I'd probably be like a, a little appetizer for these things. Claire, what is on the ceiling? Oh, it's a real Clarodactyl! Oh my god! Well, I should say it's a replica, because the real Clarodactyl's right here. This strange dog-looking thing is the ancestor of all horses on planet Earth. We were just commenting about how nice the weather is out here. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, 70 degrees. A little on the windy side, as you can tell. And not too sunny. But look at this incredible view right next to the fossil exhibit. Roll up my window, don't know where I'm bound. All right, so we just made our turn towards our uh boondocking uh, location and um, we got about eight miles of uh, this dirt road so it's gonna be a little bumpy on a dirt road in the middle of freaking nowhere there couldn't be a smaller <laughs> little campsite than here we have number five so thank you mr. information ranger guy for putting us in the smallest space with the largest vehicles we could barely squeeze in here past those bushes <laughs> uh, seriously yo what do you think about this spot man that beer you bought, <laughs> we're gonna need to have one. I can't believe we made it out here. Uh, this is pretty snug, huh? Yeah. I mean, this is by far the smallest, coziest little spot of this whole thing. Even number four was big. Yeah. The other ones were gigantic. I could barely squeeze down this. But uh, at least we're here. I feel like we should have parked back at that uh, trailhead too. Yeah, we're gonna have to drive back there. Is that where the... That's where that thing is way up there. Oh. Unless we just wanna relax and just take it easy. We're gonna go for a little hike. I'm gonna ride inside a uh, 
Winnebago Travago for the first time. We got uh, Captain Nick and uh, got my co-pilot over here. Uh, grapevine trails. We got the hiking squad here, the van life squad. Uh, we're gonna go check out something called a balanced rock uh, somewhere straight ahead over there. interesting this rock is all these different formations it's like a bunch of swirls and actually the in-between bits of the rock right here is some kind of crystal that was formed when the water seeped through the cracks of the rock and the minerals turned into uh, crystals. <sighs> well, we made it to the uh, balanced rock. However, from this angle, don't you think it looks like something else? If you do, make sure to comment below. Check out all these interesting, super cool layers of rocks. It looks like uh, layers of tortillas or blankets or something. The uh, ground is just like that too. Here is the, uh, here's a rock. What's it called again? Balance. Balance rock. It's just balanced right between these two little things. It's a pretty massive rock too. More like a balanced boulder. We're now on our descent. Really, it's not that far, but uh, Claire and Nick pointed out the fact that this rock looks like a marble coffee cake, and uh, it's quite dramatic. We are back. This is space number four. Just right over there, I think you can see the top of my bus. That's spot number five. There's nobody out here. We're just gonna commandeer space number four because uh, it's just, it just has a better view. It's a little bit bigger. Plus it might rain tonight. Claire just pointed out some spring or some tank or something. We don't know really what this is, but this was definitely built to hold water at some point. Oh, my hair. Oh, what you got there? Oh, no. What's going on in your, is that new hairdo? Please help What's up? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it looked good, it was like chopsticks. There we go. This is much better, don't you agree? Nice and flat, nice view of uh, Big Bend National Park. Uh, there is gonna be no uh, sunset tonight or beautiful stars in the sky because we got a little rain coming and uh, there's a possibility that it makes it a little bit more tricky to get out of here tomorrow, but only time will tell. We got something special tonight. We got some uh, brock, bratwurst, brockwurst, I forget which one, but uh, as you know, I mostly eat vegetables in the bus. That is because of price and it's so easy and healthy. And, uh, but tonight we're splurging. Uh, Nick brought over some spicy mustard and some pickles. And we're all just kind of hanging out right here in the middle of Big Bend. Nick's got the uh, black pearl travato. That's his handle. He's got his LEDs on. And uh, we were just winding down. So thank you, for got thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing. 
uh, I do appreciate it. And if you want to be notified of uh, all the most recent videos, you can hit that little bell once you are subscribed and it'll send you a little, little notification, uh, things like that. See you guys on the road tomorrow.